Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Indian Kitchen Abroad. This week we're going to make an Indian street food, bread omelet. It's just an egg sandwich and you'll find it almost everywhere in India. Well, things might have changed now, but it's a very common street food with square shaped bread slices and omelet. It's very easy to make and you need only one pan for this. Let's do this. I'm gonna make my own bread here. I don't have to say this, but you can use store-bought bread. Just to make sure the yeast is alive and well, mix 8 grams of instant yeast and 22 grams of sugar in 100 milliliters of warm water. Temperature of this water should be around 110 degrees Fahrenheit or 43 degrees Celsius. Not too hot or not too cold. Give it a mix and set it aside for 5 to 10 minutes and let it bloom. If your yeast doesn't look like this, check the expiration date and start with a new one. In a bowl, add 400 grams of bread flour or all-purpose flour, 7 grams of salt, 150 milliliters of milk, 50 grams of melted butter and the bloomed yeast. Mix everything just until there is no dry flour and let it rest for 20 minutes. This process is called as autolyse. This resting hydrates the flour and makes it easier to handle the dough. After 20 minutes, lightly flour the countertop and knead the dough for 8 to 10 minutes. When you lightly stretch a piece of dough, it should be translucent without tearing. That means gluten is well developed and the dough is ready to rise. In other words, that's when you can stop kneading. This is called as window pane test. Now let the dough rise for 45 minutes to 1 hour in a lightly greased bowl. I let this dough rise for about 1 hour. Now punch down the dough and roll this into a rough rectangle with the length of a side equal to the length of your loaf pan. Now to get that square shaped bread, I'm using Pullman loaf pan. It comes with a sliding lid that goes on top of this loaf pan. When the bread rises as it bakes, it fills into the corners of the pan on all sides, giving it those perfect square corners. Apply some butter to the loaf pan and roll this rectangle into a log. Gently press down at the seam every time you're rolling, so it stays tight and gives a nice tight bread crumb. Transfer this into the loaf pan and gently press on the dough so it covers the corners. Cover with a plastic wrap and let it rise just until the dough touches the lip of the pan. Bake this at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes with the lid on and 20 minutes with the lid off. That last 20 minutes with the lid off also helps in giving some color to the bread. Now take it out of the pan and let the bread rest on a wire rack for at least one hour before slicing in. Resting is very important. All we need is just two slices for this bread omelette. Just slice the bread. Whisk in three eggs along with a tablespoon of finely chopped onions, green chilies according to your taste and some finely chopped coriander leaves or cilantro. And of course, salt and pepper as well according to your taste. Now you can add any other spices you want. Now toast the bread slices only on one side with some butter. Once you're done with the toasting, add some butter and oil to the pan and add the whisked eggs. Make sure the pan is not too hot. Now just add the bread on top of eggs. Untoast it side first and turn it on the other side. This way some egg will be there on both the sides of bread. At the end, make sure the toasted side touches the omelette. Now let the egg on top cook and flip. Make sure the spatula is under both the slices of bread when you're flipping. Now you can add any sauce or any toppings you want. I'm adding a simple sauce with two parts of hot sauce. 
I'm using sriracha, one part of tomato ketchup and one part of mayonnaise. You can add cheese as well if you want. Now just fold the edges of omelette on top of the bread and fold the whole thing like so. You get the untoasted side of the bread slices on both the sides now. Now toast this on both the sides and that's it. And one more thing, cut into triangles. Triangles are easy to eat and for some reason they always taste better. And this is one hell of an egg sandwich. Very easy to make and works as a breakfast, lunch or dinner. Try this. That's it for today guys. Hope you liked the video. If you did, drop a like, share the video and consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.